Hi, I'm Maria McNamara and I'm Professor of Paleontology here at University College Cork. For many years, one of the biggest questions in paleontology has been the evolution of feathers. How did feathers evolve? What creatures first had feathers and what were they used for? Well, for most of the last 30 years, our attention has been focused on dinosaurs because we know that many species of dinosaurs had feathers. But two years ago, we discovered that feathers were also present in pterosaurs. Now, pterosaurs are a completely separate branch on the reptile family tree. But we found that they had branched feathers, although they weren't the same as those that we see in birds today. Now we've made the remarkable discovery that pterosaurs had branched feathers like those in modern birds. And when we studied those feathers using the electron microscope, we found that they preserve tiny microscopic granules of the pigment melanin. And that there are different, those granules of melanin have different shapes in different feathers. And this is a feature that we see in theropod dinosaurs and in birds today. And this tells us that pterosaurs weren't just using their feathers to keep warm for insulation, but that they were also had the ability to change the colors of their feathers, presumably for communication. So to signal to other pterosaurs for mating displays, for camouflage and so on. From studying modern birds, we know which genes control the production of different feather colours. So clearly these genes must have been present in dinosaurs and now we know also in pterosaurs. But what it all means is that the ability to change feather colour wasn't present just in those two groups, but must have been present in their common ancestor, which lived way back in the early Triassic, 70 million years before we start finding fossils. So this means that there's a huge amount of fossil record out there which is ripe for the discovery and will tell us an awful lot more about feather evolution.